When you're thinking about remodeling the kitchen, you may want to upgrade countertops, something like granite. But there may be something hiding inside the granite you don't know about. Here to explain is Stanley Liebert, Quality Assurance Director for CMT Laboratories. Good morning. Good to have you with us. Thanks, Harry. We've had this machine on here this morning making noise and everything else. Let's first go down here. Here's a piece of granite. What might be coming out of this granite? Actually, that grant has been tested, and it puts out about four picocuries per liter, of, about the equivalent of radon gas. Of radon gas. A lot of people have radon detectors in their homes. What is radon exactly? It's a Class A carcinogen gas that we inhale. Wow. Causes lung cancer. Okay, and we and so we found that this stuff is coming out of granite, like in it, your kitchen counters. I mean, precisely. some people have gone so far as to tear their kitchen counters out because of the concern. Is that justifiable? Do you think? In this case, a hundred picocuries per liter of air in her kitchen, was while the, the rest of, of the house gas. was of radon gas. Unbelievable. So this one has been tested, and 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 how do you? How, let's go down here. I want to see what what is this little gizmo right here? This instrument is a survey meter that we use to evaluate somebody's granite. Right, and so this thing is on here now, and what's the, what's the number readout right it's there? It's right now reading around 1,100 counts per minute. We equate that to about 550 picocuries uh -huh. of, of radon gas or right. radiation. And if you were you know, called in and somebody had this granite on their countertop in their kitchen, would you say it's dangerous? The probability, uh, we're looking at a problem here, and, and the granite would actually be removed. Oh. In the lower levels, we can usually improve it by exchanging air or uh -huh. install a Just system. Just make sure there's good air quality, I mean, in terms of uh, distribution of air in, in the room so it, it, it's not as dangerous, right? Precisely. The objective is bring fresh air in, mm -hmm. exchange it with the air that's in the kitchen. Right. Because this is, we've talked about this before, but I, I'm having a difficult time getting my head around the idea that the countertops in your home might literally be dangerous. Well, in this case, we're not only looking at the radon that's coming out of it, but to a, a woman that's recently pregnant, we're getting gamma radiation out of it that really has a direct impact on the fetus development. Right. So it's a couple things. Most pregnant women may be very close to that countertop right. and look at damaging. And that's what happened with that granite right there. This one. The, think about it, because there's granite all over the place in modern kitchens. Sometimes you have a little breakfast nook. You sit there. You may sit there hours and hours and hours in a day. Is one color seem to be, in terms of the color range that's out there, what seems to be safer? What seems to be more dangerous? We're seeing higher results in reds, pinks, purples. However, you got to test them all. There's a sample that we have okay. here. Okay, and so how does this work? Very quickly. This essentially is a test kit that mm -hmm. a homeowner can buy. Right. Essentially, you install it, leave it for three to four days right. with a bowl over it. Essentially, you close it back up. Oh, there's like charcoal and something like that. You put the lid on, you send it to a lab like yours, and you can find out. Precisely. Wow, that's really something. Stanley Liebert, very interesting stuff. Do appreciate it.